this is all about the Windows shortcut keys that is going to improve your experience with Windows 11 guys all you need to do subscribe to this channel to get more and more valuable content so and smash the like button to give me thumbs up so let's dive in okay the first thing i'm going to do in this video i'm going to open up and i'm going to open up the screen on screen keyboard and i'm going to give you the shortcut to open on screen keyboard first so to open up the on screen keyboard all you need to do is just press the window key window lower key control and the o so if you press the window logo key then control and then you press o then it is going to open the on screen button press the window logo with control together with o it is going to it is going to to open up this on screen keyboard okay now i'm going to focus on the give on giving you the shortcut keys you need to know to improve your experience to improve your experience with Windows 11 so stay with me guys but smash the like button to give me a thumbs up so the first one you need to know is that if you place the window logo key this one with semicolon so semicolon it is this one so it is going to open up the image picker so let me demonstrate if i click the window logo key together with the semicolon it is going to open something like this let me come here it is going to open the image picker so it is not here so let me do this let me take this off so if you if you <coughs> if the window is with, with semicolon then this is the image picker you can take so these are images as you can see but not only images if you scroll down you can see also images available also symbols available here so if you want to open it then using the shortcut i'm giving you which is window logo with semicolon so let me take this off it is window logo this one together with semicolon if you Please, you press them at the same time, you're going to open up an image picker. So this is the first shortcut key I'm giving you in this video. So let me shift to the next one. And the next one, it is it is going to be the, if you want to open up the voice typing on Windows. So let me come in there. So <clears throat> this is our notepad. So if you want to have the if you want to open the voice typing on window, it is available on window 11 also. So if you want to do so, all you need to do just click this window logo key together with H. So if you press this together with H, it is going to, to open this. Window logo together with H, it is going to open. You will need to be you, I'm, 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 I'm offline. So if you want to use it, then you need to be. Online, but what it's going to do, it is going to record what you're saying. You're saying that it is going to write here. So this is how you can use this. But it you it need you to be online. So this is how you can manage to open a voice typing window on your screen by placing window logo together with H. So this is a window logo. And then together with H, it is going to open up the voice typing onto your screen. So that is how you can when you when you are, you are, when you are speaking, then it is going to detect. It's going to write it on your on your text editor. That's why I, I open the other notepad. Then, but because I'm offline, it is it's not going to to work. So also another options you need to know is how you can you can open. You can turn on or off a narrator because Windows 11 of the of the things available in Windows 11 it is to it is there is a narrator. So if you I place I place the window control and enter at the same time I place the window control and the enter at the same time it is going to open title. No, window, narrator dialog. Skip for now. Button. Alt and S. New natural voices are available. Narrator now offers more natural sounding voices that you can install now or get from narrator settings later. You see, okay, this is how it is. It, it, it is work. So if you want to open the, you want to open the, you want to open this narrator window with the eleven narrators, and you can place window logo control and enter to open up. But also you can put it on off by doing the same thing. So 
Let me take it off. Narrator, narrator window. Narrator, window. narrator heading, heading level, level one. To well, put it off, repeat the same. Just press the window. Control together with enter. Untitled narrator dialog. Skip for now. <coughs> Button. Alt and S. New natural void. Untitled narrator window. Narrator heading. Exiting narrator. It is going to exit the narrator. Only to place place this window logo. Control together with enter. It is going to open the narrator window. So this is a, another shortcut key I mentioned in this video. So let's shift to the next one. But before we shift to the next one, if you like this video, give it smash the like button to give me thumbs up. Consider sus subscribing to this channel because we always upload the valuable contents in this channel. So let's proceed. <clears throat> okay, another shortcut I'm going to show you in, is how you can you can make the your device easy to use without sound by displaying audio and text. So to enable a live caption, to enable the live caption, you need to press the window logo key. Also, you need to press the control together with arrow. This is going to this is going to sign in. So as you can see, a live the live caption here it is open so if you want to open the live caption as you can see set up live caption to continue or download now or not now you can these are options available audio in the video will be captioned live on your screen audio in the video will be captioned live on onto your screen current available in english united states by selecting download you agree and you can proceed so you need to download it and then it is going you are going to open up the live caption so if you play your video then it is going to to to, <clears throat> to make the captions for regarding what video is talking about so if you want to enable this feature all you need to do just place window logo key press together with control and then l so let me show you press this window logo key together with control and then l key so this is how you can do to turn on the live caption to enable the live caption. So and this is you're going to, to do for audio and the video will be captioned live onto your screen. So this is how you can you can do. Okay. Let's take this. Let's shift to the to the next one. So the next one it is how you can turn on speech recognition on or off. So one of the features available in Windows 11 is the there is a speech recognition tool available on Windows 11. So in order to turn it on or off, all you need to do, you can just place Windows logo key you together with Control and a S. So Windows logo key together with Control and you place. No, 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 no. Oh, not this. Okay. Window logo key together with control and the S. You can see it is open up the speech recognition. Welcome to speech recognition. Speech recognition allow you to control your computer by voice. Using only your voice, you can start a program, open minus, open menus, click button. So this is how it is. This feature is working. It is going to improve your secu computer security by using your voice. So all you need to do, you can proceed with next, you can proceed with the setup of this, then you are going to see how this feature is going to help you to, to improve your security regarding security by using your voice. So this is how you can turn on the speech recognition on or off. So by using, by pressing the window logo, control together with S, window logo, Control together with S. Okay, let me take this off. So another <clears throat> another shortcut I'm going to give you in this video is how you can turn on magnifier on your onto your screen. So let me take this. Let take this. If you grab this, this right here. <clears throat> if you want to turn on the magnifier on window 10 so to make it on or off all you need to place is window logo key together with escape to make it off but if you want to make it on then you can place the window logo key together with plus or minus if you have, I press this with plus window logo key with plus 
then the magnifier it is going to open up as you can see i can magnify as i want so this is how magnifier you can access to enable it just press window logo key together with plus or together with minus but also if you want to disable you want to 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 make it off just press the window logo key together with escape so we'll come back to our on screen keyboard if you place window logo key together with plus or together with minus it is going to open up the magnifier on onto your screen but if you want to make it off then press this window logo key together with escape key so this is going to turn off the magnifier so another thing i'm another shortcut key i'm going to give in this video it is how you can open up a snipping tool you don't need to just come here and start typing snipping tool no you don't need to do that so let, let me give you the shortcut key you can use to open up the snipping tool to open up a snipping tool all you need to do is you need to place window logo window logo key together with shift and s so press window logo key together with shift then s it is going to open up the snipping tool so as you can see now it is open and i can take the screenshot of the screen and whichever i want if you take this then it is it is going to to give this that it's already copied there it is already screenshot copied to clipboard and already saved it you can see where you are location to save there the screenshot is then you can access this this you can access this the, the screenshot you take here for example in my case if i come to this let me take the if i come to this and i come to i need to show you the, the screenshot if i come to this one and i can if i come to this screenshot now you can see it is this one it is this one so this is how you can you can access okay let me shift to the next next the next shortcut key you need to know regarding with 11 so the the next shortcut key you need to know is how you can manage to open a widget so to open a widget with with 11 you need to place window logo key together with w so if i press window logo key together with w then it is going to open up the widget because i'm not online i'm offline that's why you you see this one but if you you are you are connected to the internet then it is going to open up the, the news regarding regarding this panel so this is how you can open the widgets by using shortcut just press the window logo key together with w just come to this Press window logo key together with W, it is going to open you a widget. So another option, another shortcut key I'm going to mention in this video, it is how you can you can you can you can action you can <coughs> it, if you want to open up the quick setting where you can make the some quick setting, just press window logo key together with A, which A stands for action. Press window logo key together with A, it is going to open up the quick setting. As you can see here, this is regarding the connection. This is for Bluetooth, flight mode, accessibility light. Also, you can adjust your your <coughs> your, your, <coughs> your display. So this is how you can change the, the display, the display light. So by adjusting it up and down. Also, volume you can make it up and down. This is how you can access quick setting by just play by just placing window logo key with A, A stands for action. So let me show you another another shortcut key you need to know. Okay, all you need to do now to open up the notification tab or to open up the notification pane as well as your calendar, all you need to do is just place window logo key with N. If I press window logo key with N, now it is go going to open this. So it is going to open the notification panel with with the calendar. All you need to do just come to your go to your keyboard and then place the window logo key together with N N key. Then it is going to open the notification key. So let me finish with this the final shortcut key I'm going to mention in this video. It is this one. But before I'm going to the final one, 
consider subscribing to this channel to get more and more valuable informative and creative contents more like this also smash the like button to give me thumbs up and then let let jump to the final shortcut key i'm giving you in this video so if you want to open up the snap layout which you can you can position your your window on the screen so all you need to do just you can press window logo key together with Z. if you press window logo key together with Z, it is not going to demonstrate it, but let me show you how it is going to work how it work if i come here and put it down so let me come to home okay if i come to this home and i'm going to press window logo key together with Z, you can see this is the it opened up the snap layout so to set up the snap layout there are two options there are a couple of options one of them you can use the shortcut key which is window logo key together with that you can also choose if it did this so we can choose there are a couple of options here you can you can choose so this is how you can access but also you can access by just over overing this minimizing minimizing icon here minimizing button light here so also you can you can change so this is all about this video guys do me a favor by subscribing by subscribing to this channel if you're not yet my subscriber smash the like button give me thumbs up then let me see the next video